equipment can be either made by the beak if they're a handy person or purchased from the beekeeping supply places. The double four frame nuke is now complete with its rain hood and M lock fitted. Why have a self sufficient apiary? A huge less cost. The beak must be able to manage nukes and rare queen bees. No honey production is lost. Nukes in my area can be worked all year round. Also, nukes in many parts of the world in a similar way. Here I have a nuke that I used the queen out of and I let them self rear. And now, 30 days later, we have a laying queen. It has cost me nothing to uh, rear this queen but a little bit of gear and a little bit of time. I exchange my queens every 12 to 15 months in my production hives. The characteristics within my apiaries that I look for is gentleness and productivity. Any aggressive bees that are found the queen is killed and replaced with a quieter queen of my own breeding. I have never worn gloves since becoming a beekeeper in over 55 years. Why have a self-sufficient apiary? Why have two hives instead of one? Many a beak that I have discussions with inform me that they need a new queen. They say that their hive is queenless. The queen has failed or has been killed. I strongly suggest to have an extra hive as backup so that when problems occur and queens not available the beak can remedy the situation. Also, no two hives work the same. Working beehives is a balancing act with nature. For survival, there are three different ways queens can be reared. Number one is emergency, number two is super procedure method, or three is the swarm method. Well, there was a pile, little pile of bees over here, so yep. the queen may have been coming over here. That's what, that's what happens with, with, with a pile of bees, they look after the queen. Like, like a personal estimate. It must be remembered that the stronger the hive in bee numbers, the quicker the sperm count of any queen will end, and then the queen can only lay infertile eggs, which is drones. As you can see, the queen from the um, Italian hybrid is a lovely big golden queen. The extra hive use can be used for any time of the year. Interchange of brood frames, drawing foundation, supplying nurse bees, equalising honey frames, self red queen if condition suitable. So the frames that we've lifted up from the brood box are here and they're about to be placed into the middle super with the stickies. All honey. And that's the whole problem with, uh, without an excluder. But uh, they will put, uh, because the queen's up in the top super, there's, no, there's, there's no, nothing down there for them to stop uh, the eggs being laid and they'll put honey in there. The excluder that you can see here is a, an old plastic excluder and it's been through the irradiation plant about four times. After about the fifth or sixth time they start to uh, perish and disintegrate. Now was there any eggs up here? So we found the queen in the top super but the question is had she gotten to laying there yet? Yes, yes there's, there's uh, hatch larvae there. Yep. yep. So we've got to come back here in five to seven days and check all, all these frames above the excluder. Yep. Or gotcha. rogue queen cells. Two frames either side of the beetle trap must be cleaned so that your trap sits down nice and neat on tops of the frames and also your cover lays down closely so that the bees cannot properise the gaps. Only having one hive has limitations. With two or more hives the bee creates options for brood, pest and disease management and the well-being of the hives. To be able to interchange frames is paramount. To release her, we simply shake the bees off the outside of the cage. 
open the top up, and at a 45 degree angle, place the entrance at the landing board. She crawls straight out and in, and make sure that you give them a few pops of smoke. In case there's a wall of bees hanging here, she might actually change her mind and turn around and get, go, go back onto the ground and get in my ants. And also, if you've got a full production hive and you've got bees, after you've blown a super of bees out, you may have bees, have bees bearded all the way up along the front here when they return. You've got to be careful that if you don't smoke her in, she may just crawl back out and up the top. And if you've still got that lid off, she'll crawl on your top super and she'll be in there before you know it. Options. It does not matter if the second hive is a nuke or another honey hive. Backup is well worth the extra cost. Overall, in a 12 month period, the cost could be cheaper. Please like, subscribe and click the bell to my channel to help it grow. Thanks for watching.